There's a lot of talk in the liberty movement about revolution, about taking on the state and defeating it. There is talk of active resistance, armed resistance. There's talk of 1776. This talk, these notions, these ideas do not, however, serve the cause of liberty as much as they strengthen the state. The liberty movement is at its heart a peace movement, and peace is not the byproduct of violence or aggression. It's the state that feeds on violence. It's the state that thrives on aggression. It gains its power from these things. It gains legitimacy from exercising its monopoly on violence. Recent history has shown that as various elements of society lash out at the state, the power of the state is not diminished, it grows. Like Chinese handcuffs, the state uses our own efforts to resist it to its advantage. The struggle against it becomes endlessly futile as we direct our energy toward the state, instead of directing our creative energy toward building up new ways to peacefully cooperate without the state. But once it's realized that the state is not legitimate, that the state is not necessary, the state's power to restrain completely disappears. Diminishing the power of the state is not about taking it on and defeating it. It's about ignoring it into oblivion. As people create and use alternatives to the state, the state becomes irrelevant, powerless, and liberty wins. One idea at a time, little by little, until the state disappears.